SpongeBob. Okay, ready? I thought we were going to do a cold open with that SpongeBob. Sponge? Oh, yes. Sponge. Please. Of me saying horrible sexual things as Squidward. I satisfied you, Mr. Krabs. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm so I'm, full. I'm. Fun. <laughs> 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 This movie's gonna flop, our mind's about to pop But enough of that noise Time for the B-roll, boys! Picture emojis, listeners, in between every single word that I say for the rest of this episode Hello, welcome to another secure episode of B-roll, boys uh, Brought to you by Dropbox That's This is me clapping in between every word My name's Harlan With me, I've got the uh, excited Wes Excited I, emoji I hold genuine You're looking pretty meh you. emoji right now The eggplant emoji, Justin um, put, put me next to the water spurt <laughs> That's an ejaculate thing. Uh, and we just watched the Emoji Movie, if you couldn't guess. Uh, from 2017, this movie was the, uh, the center of a lot of uh, rightfully placed hatred when it came out. And uh, it's it's one of those things that's exactly what you expect. You know, it's just one of those, like, it just reeks of, like, corporate, like, marketing. And, and like, there's no, like, wit to any of it. It's not clever. It's, like, committee written. Yeah, kind of shit. It's, it's what everybody... John Sony himself it's, writing it in his, like, his big boss suit. It's what we all thought the Lego movie was going to be. Exactly. This was, like, the textbook definition of cookie cutter. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, this was almost the first movie that I picked for the show. Um... I, 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 I don't know why. We but would have I, ended there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we wouldn't have made it this far. I wouldn't have suggested it if I had known that. Uh, um, and, uh, yeah, I've been... I, I knew that... And, of, of course, it went on my wheel, and so sooner or later it'd come around. And, and here we are, years later, we finally got to watch it. Wes has apparently seen this movie already. Like four times. What the hell? It was part of a communal uh, wheel of horror. We Wes put a bunch of blue ray Put a good, bunch of like good movies on a wheel, then a shitty one, and it was the roll of the dice, my friend. More like Blu-ray, Blu-ray boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it on Blu-ray, although I did have an emoji statue on the fireplace mail for a while. I have an yeah. emoji chia pet. That's I, cool. I, no, like of the meh emoji from the emoji movie. Oh. I, yeah, I see like that. You have merchandise. I threw, <laughs> I threw that shit out. <laughs> We went to Bargain Hut one day, and it was like on a shelf for a dollar, so we thought it'd be funny to just put there and see uh, yeah. how long it would take for people to notice it. Yeah. It wasn't long. Yeah. yeah, that was just adding to the hordes of, like, dumb shit that we'd pass off as decorations. Yeah, whatever, it was sitting right next to the pink dildo on the mantle. <laughs> it didn't matter. You guys had a real classy place, I miss it. <laughs> so, so the Emoji Movie, um, it's, it's like, oh, it's... The, this plot has been done like a million times and you can see right where it's going right off the bat. It's like, oh, he's a meh emoji, but he has other emotions and people are telling him that he should only show the meh emotion, but he doesn't want to be a meh. He wants to have other emotions and express himself, but he, he you know, he still feels the societal pressures and he, and he has the urge to conform to their expectations of him. And at the same time, he feels unfulfilled if he doesn't <laughs> express himself in, in varying ways, you know? I have a hierarchy of movies that have been exactly this. And, like, the best, at least of animated movies that have come out within my lifetime that I've also seen. <laughs> uh, I think that the, the opus of that is, like, Monsters, Inc. Mm -hmm. Then you have Wreck-It Ralph, which I think is good, but it's not as good as Monsters, Inc. Then you have B-Movie, which is the same shit, and it's really weird. But at least it's kind of like interesting and in how weird it is. Yeah. Like, why would you have a Larry King cameo in a kids movie? But and then there's this. This is like the most derivative. Like Harlan said, the most predictable, lowbrow. It's one of those that's like not going. The kids in two years aren't going to like understand it. Yeah. They have a lot of like uh, meme fr me memes references. and like phrases of the time. I heard them say "slay" a couple times. Yeah. Slay. I mean, I guess that's not going away, and we sound like boomers, but <laughs> like we sound progressive. I don't know. Like, if you're <laughs> if you're ten years old, and you've gr you've grown up with smartphones, you know, I grew up on AIM. That was that was real king shit. Oh yeah, I had MSN Messenger. I had both of those, my boy. Did oh, you ever yeah. did you ever nudge somebody to get their attention? Dude, we fucking nudged, dude. Dude, it I got was like the pokes. It was I, like pre poke. I got yeah. poked on Facebook, like. 
yesterday. just a few months ago. You can still do that? I, you like, have to I, dig into menus this, to this, do that, though. This, this girl uh, from Dragon Con that I met, so only a few months ago, back in September, this girl, uh, like, I, you know, I, she added me on Facebook, and I was like, yo, sure, what up? And then she poked me, and I was like, are you fucking serious? I was like, D- I'm not responding to that. I'm not fucking poking <laughs> you back. I, and so I just, like, deleted her right away. I don't think that was a real person, Harlan. I think that was a witch. No, I met her. I think she was fooled. real, but I was just like, fuck you. No, we're done. <laughs> Anywho, um, so what the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> uh, you were talking about how derivative this is with other movies and, and its and its themes and its and its direction. Yeah, and like it, it's just it's a boring bad art style. Oh, I remember what I was saying. Like, if you're ten years old and you've grown up with these emojis and like your phone is your life kind of thing, which is fine. Like, do you care about this? Do you care enough about the emojis in your phone, even if you're a little kid, where you're like. Oh, I want mom to take me to the movies to see this for an hour and a half. Like, you'd also have to be, like, a very specific age, I feel like, to even find this funny. Because it's, like, so stupid. It's like a movie for five-year-olds. But five-year-olds aren't going to get the emojis. Yeah. I, I assume they don't have phones. I don't know. It's got, like, a, I'm out of touch. a hello their fellow kids, like, yeah. version of how they conceptualize the internet. Like, we've got, like, neckbeard trolls. Oh, and I, I, the part where they're they're trying to make like a joke about porn, where it's like, oh, what would what would a teenage boy possibly be trying to hide from his parents on his phone? And then there he goes in. They're playing Twisted Sister. I'm like, playing Butt Rock. That's like older than the parents. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's for the great grandparents in the audience. Because <laughs> I feel like this movie's meant for like early twenties people with kids. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh no, my child is listening to Butt Rock. <laughs> Primordial butt rock. <laughs> That's like, twisted like not even a good one. <laughs> hey, they're not going to take it anymore. They used to, but now they're done. Oh man, I, I think I we're, feel like we're taking I, it pretty hard. I feel like we were predicting every single beat like a couple minutes before it happened. Oh yeah, and that's not that's not to thing. say that we felt really smart. It was just we were like, God, this we movie's dumb. Smart. We're fucking smart. Dude. Oh yeah, dude. This movie's a litmus test for, oh, yeah. <laughs> for intelligence. <laughs> For all the dum dums in the audience that can't write the script in their head for after the first five minutes. Yeah. This is another one of those movies where we were like, they'd make a joke and we would all like roll our eyes or groan at it or, or just get mad at it and then and then suggest a better version of the joke and be like, yeah, see, we should have been in the writer's room, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you'd get up and pause it and be like, hey, I don't want to miss any of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you did. You're like, I gotta go milk the dog's ass. I can't gotta pause it. <laughs> Listen, okay, I want to be fully informed. Okay. True. Yeah. Um, so yeah, our main character is voiced by TJ Miller. He's, he's a man emoji. His name is Gene. Yeah. Like Gene Simmons. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and yeah, his dilemma is he's a man, but he has other emotions that like seep through sometimes. And it's, and, it, and it's his, his first day on the phone. Cause, cause how it works is that like, they're in like a grid. And I guess when, when the phone user like selects an emoji, there's Some like black mirror shit. There, there's like a hand in the phone that like select, selects them and they get scanned each and every time, yeah, I like guess. Like a crane game. Yeah. And, um, and so he's like, it's my first day on the phone. How does that work? If it's your first day on the phone, like first day on the phone or the job, like did, did they conceive him that day? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's what, what, it's what's the sexual like, nature of the emoji? What, what is what is the lifespan of an emoji? Because you know? yeah, his parents have aged. They're both man emojis. Did they like? Were they working in the factory? How does that happen? So they're like akin to basically like being cousins, right? Both <laughs> man emojis. Yeah, we got some they, they're the only man emojis. The, the three man emojis in the, that we only ever see are the mom, the dad, and and the main character. Oh, Ooh. so it, got it. So it, we're, we're, we've got like an Adam and Eve scenario. Or like Noah's Ark. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna repopulate the entire Met emoji population. T.J. Miller was strewn from Papa Emoji's fucking <laughs> rib. <laughs> <laughs> um, Roll Tide West. <laughs> and uh, God, I just so so he like goes up to get scanned. It's his first day on the job, and like he fucks up and he and he does some different emotion instead of Met. And he, and he's talking to like the queen bitch who's like she's like. Kind of like Umbridge from Harry Potter a little bit. Definitely, like, definitely. Really smiley. Yeah. Like, the whole point is that she's smiley, but she's like a horrible bitch. And and that and that's yeah, like you said, that's the point. But it's so, and this is you know goes for the whole movie. It's so obnoxious to look at. Like they really like just shot themselves on the foot by picking this very premise of like all your characters are emojis, and like 
they're all just obnoxious to look at, you know? And I, I think a lot of people would be like, oh, it's an, it's an animated feature. Like, the characters are supposed to be, like, expressive and exaggerated. But there is such a huge fucking difference between, like, being expressive and just being obnoxious. And, like, these characters are obnoxious to look at. Like, you, you, anytime the smiling bitch specifically is on screen, you're just like, ugh. And again, that's probably the point, but, like, it's, it, it doesn't make the movie enjoyable to watch. I, I have a very specific scenario that I've just built up in my head about this. And Harlan, especially since you worked at the movie theater with me, so you can imagine this exact scenario playing out (laughs) of like, it's trying to be obnoxious so it can hold the attention of like all the kiddies in the audience because otherwise about halfway through this, they're going to get restless and they're going to get bored and they're going to start like running around and destroying the theater and the parents are going to like half-assedly try to... (laughs) to keep them contained but then they're just going to be bored and like watching the movie themselves and the kid won't have absorbed like any of this so this is the kind of movie that you go in and it's absolutely destroyed and you have to clean it in three minutes because it's selling out for the first like two weekends and then it's dead yeah completely drops off the fucking i don't know how i, I constructed this entire <clears throat> head cannon did this do well like legitimately there's no fucking way it's got like a two on imdb or something Maybe yeah, that, that doesn't matter like plenty of garbage makes money uh you have a very loud keyboard. It's, it's mechanical, yeah. It's clacky. Emoji movie. Um, wow. What am I? What am I looking for? How much? Box office. Box oh, office there versus we go. budget. Thank you. That's, yeah. Such a leak gamer. Some of that clacking. Yeah, He's like look a little at these, look at these rainbow LEDs. Two hundred seventeen point eight million. What was the budget? Wait, is that worldwide? There's no fucking way it made 200 million in the U.S. World, worldwide total. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, emoji movie. Probably made like, I'd guess like 70% of that U.S. 50 million budget. Budget 50 million right, made, so made this, 217. This, this made real. This made real money then. Quadrupled so. its budget. Frank, I'm surprised we don't have a sequel. If if Morbius could get memed into a sequel. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, uh, we'll, we'll watch that one day. Don't you worry. Mm. But um. <laughs> Anyway, where were we? Where were we in this invigorating plot? Invigorating. Um, we we're explaining the, the the rules of their universe doesn't make any sense. So what happens if they're? What happens if they like are just never good? Well, I guess we get to see that they basically get like executed if they can't <laughs> serve in the factories. Yeah. Yeah, they go to the recycle bin, even though that's not so how it's it like works. Like forced labor. Right? Yeah, they have emoji camps. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I don't really understand fully how this works, but we have, like, these menacing-looking robots that the smiley bitch uh, summons up. I'm trying to think of what they look like. They look like the Atlas from No Man's Sky. Yeah. I didn't play No Man's Sky, so I have no comment. Wow. Wow. <laughs> sponge, bong. Sponge. 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 Um, sponge. You better stop us now, Harlan. Another thing <laughs> it's a good uh, that is, that is sponge, annoying sponge, sponge. about this movie is the fucking like, okay, so they have the, the meh characters, you know, Gene and his, and his parents, and they really love to like run their, their uh, ambivalence uh, into the ground, you know, mm-hmm. um, their, their neutrality on all, on all things. <laughs> and um, their net neutrality. Yes. Um, uh, oh, that uh, was a thing. Remember that? Yeah. Um, and uh, Web 3.0, just, Harlan. It, it's it's it just it, <laughs> like they'll be like Harlan bought this in Ethereum. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> um, they'll they'll like not react to something and then be like, "Whoa, you really flew off the handle there." And it's like, "Ha ha, no, he didn't." Ha ha. So much well, funnier the sixth it's, time. It's, it's, yeah, and they just run that joke into the ground, and the whole time it just kept reminding me of a uh, that ambivalent race of people in Futurama. You know, oh, yeah. and it's, which is just the same thing, but much better. Like in that one episode where like their planet's gonna get wiped out, and he's like, "Tell my wife I said hello." <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay. Yes, but the Papa emoji was also played by Stephen Wright, which is basically his entire career is doing that. But not that a little kid's going to understand that. Yeah, I mean, I uh, for sure fucking didn't. <laughs> Whatever. You don't watch Stephen Wright stand up from like the 70s and I, 80s? I can't sound familiar. Wow. And then speaking of these fucking meh emojis, there's a fucking divorce subplot with with Gene's parents. Like, yeah, they're, they're, like, they're, like I kid you not, there's a scene where they like go their separate ways and, 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 and his mom is like, you're not the emoji that I married. <laughs> like, and they like split up. <laughs> And then, and then, li- and then, like five minutes later, they like go to a, a photograph from from the user's Instagram in Paris, 
and so it's like a romantic setting and they like make up and do you think they effed they totally if they summon I'll... the eggplant emoji i want to know how emojis to reproduce <laughs> by budding <laughs> it's like they replicate <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of questionable things about this world's mechanics, though. I would love like, to see just an out of nowhere, like, really painful mitosis scene. <laughs> Where one of them just starts, like, screaming in pain and then just, like, is ripped apart and reformed. Oh, speaking of, I mean, it seems like some of the emojis are trapped in, like, an internal hell of dread and torment because they're not allowed to be any other emotion than, like, what they are, right? Yeah. So some of them are just screaming eternally, <laughs> We're just in pain and shit. We really live in a society. Bad. But also, that doesn't really make sense either, because you know how they, they pick the emojis that's coming up on the phone? It scans them right then in real time, so why do they always have to be that emotion yeah. when, like, they're at home? Yeah. yeah. Again, this is like where they, they watched Monsters, Inc. and they didn't get it. Because the monsters don't have to be, like, scary the whole time. They just have to be scary on the job. In Wreck-It Ralph, they just have to be their characters while on the job. They yeah. don't have to be that any other time. Yeah. And then in B-Movie, fucks a real person. <laughs> I've never seen B-Movie. Does he fuck the woman? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you guys keep saying that. So, it is 100% implied that they have sex. It's not just implied. They show it. You get full ass. And okay, I, I gotta watch no, this. It's, it's, All right, it's so implied. Wes's next pick is B-Movie. Spoilers. No. <laughs> that will never be my next pick. Uh, I think well, I unironically like B-Movie more than this, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, 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 like you said, it's weird and it's like B-movie fever is, dreamy. Yeah, it's like an enigma, you know, that it even exists, you know? But, like, this is just, it's infuriating to watch and, and annoying. So is that why B-Movie is just memed into oblivion? Yes, because yeah. it's just weird that it even exists in the first place. Because okay. so much of that movie's humor is just Jerry Seinfeld doing his thing. And, and you know? They're trying to like do the Pixar thing of throwing adult jokes in to the audience so like the parents can have something to laugh at, but it'll just be like really off the wall stuff that like is not even that funny. Okay. <laughs> but it'll just be like an adult reference when you're like, what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess I gotta watch B movie. We, we, we will absolutely watch it. Whether Fair recreationally enough. or for the show, we'll watch B movie. Definitely. Instead, we watched the fucking like Dollar Tree version of it in this. <laughs> And, the, um, and that's really sad. That's a really sad statement to make if B-Movie is like the all-encompassing positive example to what this could be. That is weird. B-Movie tripped so this movie could fucking plunge into the earth. Uh, um, speaking of plunging, uh, this movie is an hour and 26 minutes. It's pretty normal. And, and nothing happens in it. Like, I mean, like they, they go on their journey... And it's just, it's just like a series of like chases through locations. Like, so they leave Textopolis, which is like where like all the emojis live and they go to like the home screen and then from there go to other apps and they're in like, they're in a piracy app. What is the piracy app? I don't, I, it, I think it's just a generic, it doesn't have a name. That's where they're playing like butt rock and it's implied that there's like a little bar and so, so it's like, Oh, I've got the troll here. And it's like a fat neck beard. <laughs> the bartender is a Trojan horse. Yeah. And he like really literally funny. has little it, Romans it, inside of him. It really is like the most literal lowest common denominator. It's all like, the jokes I you expect. I recognize like, what that joke is and therefore that makes it uh, funny. Like as soon as you saw the horse at the bar, like did anyone not expect little dudes to pop out of him? Like... I expected little dudes to pop out of everybody in this movie. Well, and then we also get our, our female lead, our Demetra from Spy Kids 3, as it were. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it was like a, an e-girl hacker emoji girl. But she's doing, like, the, she the just screen always thing in front of her, like, minority report. Yeah, and she's just <laughs> yeah. always, like, tapping the screens and shit. But, like, just, like, not really doing anything in particular. Yeah. Um, like, what the flip, man? And, and yeah, and so, the, so they get chased by the... By the um, the anti-virus uh, bots that were sent after them, and then, and then no, yeah, like, Max can't get viruses. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, no, this is a Sony movie, so I kept you saying just this was a, my career. This was a Sony Xperia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> that this dumb fucking kid has to take to a store to get factory reset, whatever. And also, what's he watching on Crackle? <laughs> Oh the yeah, Crackle app. There is like quite a bit of lip service to Crackle, Dropbox, and Dance, or, or just Dance. Yeah. Does Sony own Dropbox? Because I know they own the other two. I don't think they do. It was like Dropbox probably paid to be in this. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they even get a line about how secure it is. 
Yeah. Um, that's how you know who's signing the checks for this yeah, shit. Well, because Dropbox is, is like the destination that they're going to. That's like that's like the end goal is to get the Dropbox so that they can get to the cloud. And then that's where they can reprogram Gene to make him a proper met emoji. That's like the whole goal of the movie. It makes no sense. It, yeah, like why the fuck would... Because they're like, that's where the source code is in the cloud. I'm like, why the fuck would the source code for the emoji be just in Drop? Like what? Specifically in Drop. <laughs> yeah. Remember in Wreck-It Ralph when the whole, like they find the fucking circuit board and they find out that Vanellope's glitch is because she's been like separated from the source code. That makes so much more sense than this. This yeah. is like so. What you're There's going like a degree yeah, of logic in, there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like it's, it's it's dumb, but like that's the point. It's it, it, a kids movie doesn't have to be this derivative just because it's a kids movie. There's lots of great like animated movies for children that they can understand, but they're not like a complete snore or a complete abortion to watch. And this failed every step. Yeah, it's not very good. Um, I didn't like it. Yeah. So, so they get chased from location to location, and like I think the first one is Candy Crush. They literally fall into Candy Crush, and they have to like explain Candy Crush, which was good for me because I've never played it. <laughs> So I was like, oh, thank you, Emoji Movie. I learned something today. It's bejeweled. Is that your good thing? <laughs> thought you Candy Crush? No, I got actually. Harlan addicted to Candy Crush. No, and now he's actually. a whale for the, what's the developer's <laughs> name, King. I actually do. I, I like Candy Crush, even though I think it's trash. It's just, I don't know. Like, the animation's nice. Like, it's, it's, it's just something Emulating. to do on my phone. Yeah. It's a good taking a dump game. Yeah, okay, Grandma. <laughs> I've spent $600 on it this week. Your Candy Crush whale. <laughs> um, what the fuck was I saying? What are they adding Bitcoin support for Candy Crush? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah, so they play Candy Crush, and, and, and Meh is stuck in, and, and they inflate him and get him out, whatever. <laughs> Uh, and, then, so and, then, and, and that's at like the 40 minute mark and this movie is, is not even an hour and a half and nothing happens until like the last like 10 minutes it's literally just them bouncing from from app to app yeah, location they're on the location. home screen so they're literally in like the tiles and they're just going from tile to tile for like 45 minutes straight it's literally that's like all there is that's all there is they, they go to um i think they go to twitter near the end of the movie uh, yeah, Twitter's their mount. They go to the piracy app. They go to Just Dance and have a dance number through like three fucking songs. They go back to back. Yeah, they have they have different songs that they dance through, and and it was really funny because like only five minutes before that, Justin was like, like way before Just Just Dance was even mentioned, Justin was like, we're gonna have a, 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 a like a pop song, aren't we? We're gonna have like a dance number, and it was like, yep, yeah, sure. <laughs> five minutes enough. later, there it is. Oh, oh we better go into the Just old. Dance app. <laughs> okay, that confused me. Like, cause isn't Just Dance only on like consoles? Is it an app so. on your phone? Well, it might have like a like a tapping version, like you tap the notes or something. Maybe I never Do played it. Do people still play those? Yeah. Holy shit! I remember Anna those from like dance. middle school. A lot of people get the Switch ones and shit. I mean that like I can I can understand the appeal of that, but like how I mean how yeah unless it's like a tap like rhythm game, how the fuck would Just Dance even work on your phone? I mean it's unless they have the DDR most... for your fingies. Unless they, your phone has to have a gyro in it to detect the. But then, how would you like watch what the motion is? You know, like it's fundamentally flawed. Yeah, it doesn't make <laughs> sense. I'm starting to. Just think. Dance sucks anyway. I played it once and it was bad. And that's all You're it bad. is. It's just, just dance. Oh, yeah. You don't even shit. do anything else. Huh. You don't even sell heroin or anything. Nothing cool. You know who we haven't mentioned at this point? The hand. High five. Oh yeah, high five. This is our Olaf. Of the movie. We all, yeah, this is how there's gotta be the trio. Yeah, you gotta have two main male characters. The main one is like a straight man guy that just he has no personality because he's who the audience is supposed to project onto. He's then you have meh. you have like the goofball. Yeah, I guess it's pretty appropriate. You you have your goofball sidekick, and then the the girl who kind of comes in and like rolls her eyes at them, but then falls in love with the main character. Mm. Our, our Harry, Ron, and Hermione, if oh, you will, because Hermione and Ron fug. Originally, apparently, um, Jonathan K. Rowling was supposed to be Harry and Hermione together. <laughs> like, fuck that, we're gonna get the fucking ginger nerd lady. It really subverted our expectations. Yeah. She Ryan Johnson does. Yeah. yeah, shout out to J.K. Rowling for pussing out really hardcore. I remember right before the last book came out, which I was so into Harry Potter when I was a kid, and I remember before the last book came out, she was like, I'm killing one of the main characters, and everyone's like, oh, fuck. And then, no, she just killed, like, half the B-cast. Yeah. <laughs> the three insufferable pricks live. Anyway. 
Yeah. So um, emoji movie. So so high five. Yeah. Is is their uh, their tag along? He's their Ron it, Weasley. Well, I mean, even it's not clear why any of them team up. Like he, he bumps into high five when he's running from from the the AV bots, and he's 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 just like. Okay, yeah, I'll help you. And then from that moment on, they're just like best buds. You it's know, not like they were established friends or anything. Yeah, before like this. they literally just bump into each other and they're like, "Oh, let's go on an adventure together." And then they, then then they meet uh, the the girl, the Demetra. Uh, Jailbreak is is her is her code name. Yeah, they meet Jailbreak uh, in, her matrix in, in in the bar, and um and and she's and and she is also like, "No, I'm not helping you." And then literally five seconds later, she's like, "Okay, I'm in." And it's not clear why she just she puts up like no resistance to not helping them. Yeah. She's like, no, and then she's like, well, okay, you make a good point. And, and, and yeah, so then, so then they're just, but high five, especially, it's not clear, like, why he's, he's along for the ride. He's just here because he has nothing better to do. Why does he have, like, a blue camo band-aid around one of his fingers? He looks like a crypt. <laughs> <laughs> I think he got a paper cut at some point, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I never saw him don the bandage. How does that work? I don't know. Well, well later, later he gets, like, like the little, like... like the hand gloves for each finger, like for the different skin colors. Who's producing these? What? Who's, who's like manufacturing these? I have these no clue them? how this world works. This Did is like just... Pokemon levels of weird where just none of it makes sense unless yeah. you're only looking at like the construction of the plot and nothing else. Even uh, even that is pretty iffy. <laughs> but, anywho, um, there wasn't a single cigarette or work boot emoji. <laughs> Or the blue cap. <laughs> oh, man, the Instagram post for this episode is going to be such a headache to make. Oh, you <laughs> should just fill it with all kinds of bullshit. That's the plan. Um, you can almost tell which shots were cut out of the Chinese release of any of them with the, either the black emojis or the flag of Israel. <laughs> Thanks, Sony! Uh, so, yeah, they, they just chase... And they get chased for like forty minutes. I think the only thing that happens is like uh, they're in they're in just dance, and then after they dance for a minute, um, they the app gets deleted, and so they're like, oh no, we have to get out of the app before before the deletion is complete. And then and then high five gets left behind, and he and he's in the trash. And it's like well, I mean, do phones have recycling bins? The androids? I don't know. I, I generally don't. They know. do for like pictures and shit, but not yeah. for like apps. Not for, yeah, if you just yeah, delete yeah. it, it's fucking gone. Exactly. Yeah. yeah for and pictures, you, you get like sixty days. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant. Um. Yeah. So that was just again super weird to me. But but they're like, no, he's in the trash. Uh, we we have to go save him. And Jailbreak's like, no, it's all the way at the other side of the phone. Like it'll t it'll take way too long to get there. We're we're right here at our destination. It'll take too long. And Gene's like. You know, no, I'm not gonna leave him behind. You know, he's a good guy like that. And then, and then they just go get him in in like five minutes at most. And then, and then they're back at Dropbox. It's like, was that really that big of a deal to go get him? He just didn't want to go. And he was literally just like, he was literally just like in a hole. And they just like dropped him a line and then just pulled him out. It's like, what was so? Why did we think that would be so difficult? And it wasn't really that bad when he was in the trash. He was just getting annoyed by the neckbeard troll. He was just kind of vibing. It was Jeff know? Ross apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so, and that's the point where we have the, the Dropbox plug, where they, where they get to Dropbox and the AV bots, like, again, like, they're, they're, ma they're named to be antivirus bots, but, yeah. but they try to follow them into Dropbox, and, and Jailbreak's like, no, they, they can't follow us in here, uh, they're, they're illegal malware, and Dropbox is secure. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one part I genuinely laughed at. Oh yeah, J uh, Justin lost his shit at that. It was really funny. <laughs> well, it's just because well, I mean, it was like, so stupid, right? Yeah, like as, as I can just see the check being signed while that was being written. <laughs> as Wes said, like illegal malware as opposed to legal malware. <laughs> and also, I mean, Dropbox doesn't like have like heuristic based scanning or be like behavior or like signature, you know, like scanning detection. Like it doesn't do that. You just upload your shit, right? Yeah. Um. It's the same as the rest of them. And all and also they mentioned that like they were antivirus. Like why like so why are they suddenly malware? Like what? That makes no sense. Wait, were it's the, like they didn't think it up. What? Wait, were those the antivirus bots cuz those are like those snake things. Or no, wait, they came out of the sorry, they came out of the the mech bot things. I think so, yeah. I spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we all did. Oh, and I don't think we talked about um, 
Well, well, so so they get into Dropbox, right? And so and yeah. so Gene's like, wait. Now that I'm here, I realize that I'm okay with who I am, and I don't want to reprogram myself into being just a meh. And 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 he confesses his love to Jailbreak, and she turns him down, and so he literally just becomes an incel where he's where he is he inadvertently <laughs> reprograms himself through incelibacy, and and he it, it becomes a meh anyway, and so. I guess I guess I need to back up because the <laughs> skipping so story much lore. Well, okay, yeah, it's it's hard to know where where it starts. It's a rich so, lore. So, like, th- th- this movie all takes place inside this kid's phone, and and the kid's dilemma is that there's a girl he likes, but he's he, a pussy. He's a coward. He, he doesn't know what, what to say to her. Like, there's a girl he wants to ask to the to the fall dance, and he doesn't know what to say to her. And he's trying to figure out like what emoji to send her to express his feelings. Yeah, he don't have to say anything, dude. Yeah, words aren't <laughs> words. Send them words aren't cool. <laughs> is is what they said. Words aren't cool. Um, and so and so yeah, like the throughout the chases throughout the movie, very um, dystopian. A, as they as they bounce from app to app, it makes the phone like fuck up with those various apps, and so he thinks his phone needs to be like reset or fixed or something. And so the 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 stakes come from. You know, like, oh no, we we need to fix Gene before he resets his phone and we all get erased. And so they get to the phone store at the end of the movie, and he and he has his appointment to have his phone reset because he's too fucking stupid to just factory <laughs> reset his phone. He needs to fucking go to a phone store to have that done. That's made so much worse by the fact that you realize this kid's supposed to be like fifteen. Yeah. What? I used to work in a phone store and people came in for that dumb shit that they could have just done themselves the whole time. How much was that? How much was it to factory reset a phone? 50 bucks. Are you serious? I did it with a smile on my face. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, you fucking idiot. 50 bucks, but you pocketed 40 of it? Yeah, I'll plug it in. (laughs) That was an under the table venture. Oh, our normal price is like 180, but I'll do it for 50. Dude, this doesn't matter now, but fucking if they paid in cash, that shit was mine, dude. (laughs) I would charge people eighty dollars to reset their PS4. It took like twenty minutes to be like, this would be like four hours. I gotta do some shit. <laughs> You're gonna want to leave and come back, and then I'll play with their PSVR for like a week. Oh yeah, we're still waiting on parts. <laughs> I, I should not have been running that store. Oh man, I could listen to your UBIF stories for all fucking day. Sure. There used to be a guy we would let cut in line because he'd buy us Wendy's. Hell yeah. We'd be like, yeah, we'll fix your phone first. He's like, I'll bring you some number twos. And we're like, hell yeah, King. <laughs> Should we bleep out that it's that store? Yeah, bleep that out. Oh, seriously? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get sued. Yeah. I mean, I'm a different ca- company owns them now. It's fine. I used to come in and it was like a lawless wasteland. They had like dicks all over the wall. They were watching porn multiple times. <laughs> like, they, they had like <laughs> death cord blaring in the office. <laughs> <laughs> They're like throwing Xboxes across the room. It was the basically most, just like, Wes's house. It was the most like <laughs> chimp shit ever. Uh, <laughs> I felt like I was reverting in IQ every time I went over there. Those three years was like a dystopian hellscape. Uh, so, so back to the emoji movie. Uh, right. Yeah, our non sequiturs are what make it our show charming. Well, it's very it's very natural. Yeah, you know, the way the conversation goes. Um. But uh, yeah, so so, he, so he's at the phone store, and who happens to be there at the exact same time? But but the girl he likes, as well as her friend. I guess kids just hang out at the phone store. Like they just go to fucking T-Mobile or Verizon <laughs> and just hang out. Yeah, they check out their devices and cases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they go to Metro and buy crack. <laughs> and um, and he's like, oh, what sh- what should I say to her? And like, and while he's trying to figure out what to say to her, like his phone is is plugged into a kit, like the the employee at the store plugged in his phone and is in the middle of of factory resetting it because you have to plug it in to do that for some reason. You can, I mean, you can, but why would you? Like, like what's the pur- what's the purpose of plugging it in versus not versus just hitting factory you, you reset can, in the settings menu? That's you can like, super like move your files easy. and shit like temporarily so that you immediately can like move them back on. I guess. Well, you need it for if you do a restore through iTunes, it has to be connected because it fully reinstalls the entire operating system mm. like from scratch. It basically wipes it and reinstalls it, so it has to be plugged in. It's not going to really? store that on the memory. Oh. Mm. I was about to say, what the hell's the point like you can of reset backing your phone. up your files if the kid's got Dropbox? Like You can re- fully reset your phone, then re-download everything through the, through the cloud, but if you want to fully restore your operating system, you do have to plug it in. This is way too technical for what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, wow. You know a lot about uh, about Apple products for somebody who hates them so much. I mean, obviously, it's obvious why, but... Again, I worked at a phone store. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Did kids There's a reason that you hate them. <laughs> yes. I know way too much about them. I yeah. fucking hate did, them. Did you have stupid little kids coming in and texting each other singular emojis, like, from across the, that little five-foot room? That's, so, that's the weirdest part to me, right? So, so the climax of the movie is they're like, oh, may, like, he's initiating the wipe, and, like, all the shit is disappearing inside the world of the phone. And they're like, maybe if, if we send one last text, it'll convince him not to delete us. And, like, you can't fucking back out of a factory reset. Like, once it's started, you're fucking committed. Like, you can't just cancel it and go back. Uh, but, we'll but boomers that. They're like, what emoji should he send? And, and they're like, it's gotta be Gene. It should have be been Because the Gene is, like, is basically a wild card. He's basically Joker in Persona 5, right? <laughs> and so... And so he, 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 they send Gene and, and he's just like a morphing emoji. Like rather than just being like a single emoji that, that is static and stays that one emoji, like it literally like morphs between emojis af after you send like it. It's animation. He's sending it, he's it's just a sending gift. a gif. Yeah, it's a gif basically. Um, and so he sends it and, and the girl sees it and she's like, oh hell yeah. <laughs> so, yeah she's into it. And, and so she's like, and I kid you fucking not, she walks up to him and she's like, hey, I saw your emoji. I like that you're one of those guys who can express his feelings. He should have airdropped his cock to the whole store. <laughs> How does oh their like God. brain game office where they choose emojis like handle like the distribution of dick pics? <laughs> <laughs> they're they're in their texts as they're their texts, they're in their DMs. Like, oh one's yeah. coming through. <laughs> through. Oh. Shoots it through. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh. And uh, and yeah, so he so he goes to the dance, and and so he's like, okay, I like my phone now. I'm not gonna wipe it. I'm gonna pull like, the cord halfway out and brick it. Yeah, he, brick, yeah, he <laughs> pulls it out in the middle of fucking factory that, resetting it. That phone should not be usable. <laughs> like it was literally like it was like 99.9 percent .9 done with the reset. Like there was nothing left in that phone, and then he just pulls it out, and, also, and then all the shit just comes back. And it's like, oh, okay. Also, do you think he jailbroke his phone so he could have like? Skull icons with <laughs> flame background. Hell yeah. Probably. Oh, a quick aside. Just not even just this movie, but like kind of a stereotype of movies in general. You know how he just texted her that emoji yep. and he's too scared to even like email her earlier? Yeah. It's always like a trope. <laughs> <He> fucking... <laughs> sorry, we'll, sorry, we'll get back to the email. Just remind me. In it's like... year with it's the just, kids. It's always a trope to me in these kinds of movies that involve a school or like a high school or middle school specifically. They always just assume that every kid has every other kid's phone yeah. number. Like yeah. they're just always able to text each other. Like in some movies they're getting texts from the bullies. It's like, when did you exchange numbers? <laughs> He's like, hey, fuck you, you fucking... It's like, how did he get his number? <laughs> Your hair smells and, you, and it looks like rat hair. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but that just seems to happen a lot. Classic rat <laughs> but, yeah, I uh, noticed that. Yeah, I was like, wait, how does this little beta bitch have her number that if he's like, he oh, won't talk to her? Yeah. Oh, do you like World of Warcraft? And he runs away. <laughs> he he chatted out at some like, point. Yeah, he almost threw up when she came in class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to talk about the email because because they're trying to get through the firewall to get in the Dropbox. Uh, and and it's I get, an I actual guess, firewall. Well, they call it the firewall, but it's really like Dropbox's own authentication system because it's just asking for a password. <laughs> well, actually. Like, do you get, well, do you, like, it's like, come on, have a bit of logic to how this shit works. Like, and so, uh, well, actually, this is actually realistic in the term in terms of cybersecurity because most people think of hacking as like, you know, on the keys. Of guessing the password. But, but guessing your super easy password. Most of the time, hacking is just like, oh, I just guessed your password right. And so... It's a brute force attack. She, so she's doing a brute force attack and this idiot doesn't have MFA or... <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, like, uh, lock out after X many no. attempts, you know? Do you okay. hear that, Harlan? That's everybody closing out. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is my job. That's all of our listeners' hymens growing back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And, and so they're guessing his password, and they're like, wait, uh, Gene's like, if, if I had a Dropbox, my password would be the name of a girl I liked. And so they're like, but he doesn't talk about a girl. And so he's like, no, wait, I saw an email that he wrote to a girl and then deleted it. And so he's like literally like writing poetry in an email. Like, why is he writing it in an email and then archiving it if he texts her? Like, he's a fucking stalker, dude. He's never talked to her before. She's his fucking password. He's like literally writing and poetry. He has her email and phone number. He's like, your eyes are like diamonds, you know? That was his Joker origin. <laughs> when she shows the whole class and then he gets bullied and gets swirlies all the time. I mean, honestly. What the fuck? 
Uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because it was weird. But um, but yeah, so so he sends it, and then they go on a date, and well, practically, how does this work, right? Because like he's like, I like my phone now because it's got these wild card emojis, but like. Like, surely there's just an app you can get for that, or, like, stickers, you know, you can download from the app store or whatever. Like, when you want to send one specific emoji, you can't do that now. All of your emojis are wild cards, and now you're going to fuck up. Which is exactly Ooh, the problem that... Which could use words. No, it's, 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 it's exactly the problem that initiated the entire plot, is that, like, he tried to send a meh emoji, and it became a different emoji. And it was, and, like, and, an earth-shattering thing. Yeah, and it, and it, like, fucked up his entire romance, but now he's cool with that? Like, what? <laughs> he's, well, he's, now it's the right set of emojis. Before, it looked all doofy. <laughs> so what about when he does want to send... What about when he does want to send one specific emoji? What does he do? Well, then they'll do their job. He's yeah, trying it, to send, like, weird, the yeah, they, plan, they the have, like, the a live one. feed. <laughs> they have a live feed of, of, like, his face, like, as he's typing. So they, like, they're, like, <laughs> anticipating yeah, what he's trying to do. So, yeah, I, I, I don't fucking know. It's They're really frame predicting. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the face recognition shit? <laughs> Based on your emoji, we're gonna have the Patrick Stewart poop emoji. Oh my god, Patrick Stewart is the poop emoji in this, and... You're a sellout, Patrick Stewart. Thank God he's done other shit since. What's worse, Patrick Stewart in this or Ian, Ian McKellen, McKellen and Katz? Cats. Uh, God, that's actually a good. I, at I first, think I, Ian McKellen and Katz is worse. At first, I was gonna that's say more that. humiliating. Yeah, that's live action. Like at least this, I like, can totally. And he barely has any lines. He's yeah, probably he's, on set for like a day. Yeah, at, like for like five minutes. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he was like in and out of that recording. He has, in, like, like a maybe second. a paragraph's worth of lines for the whole thing. Yeah, and he doesn't show his face in it, so you yeah. know. Well, uh, yeah. Sorry, Ian McKellen, but that was worse. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's a that's the Emoji Movie. It was the Emoji Movie? It was something. It was a movie. Would you give it out of ten? One. <laughs> I give it a two. It's not even its own movie. It's God a, damn it's it! A Am I really gonna give it the highest rating? <laughs> it's a bastard copy of a thousand other movies. <laughs> A thousand other better movies of which of B movie of B movie is legitimately I mean, it, it is, better. It is derivative as hell, but I don't know. Two like it's. I, wait, I have one two more. Two feels just a little bit too harsh to me, you know. What? I don't know. The like fucker it, one like all it was, day. It was, I'll never watch this again. <laughs> you already have watched it twice. It's your fault. <laughs> I'll probably show Aaron this at some point. God. <laughs> not for fucking money though. I'm not renting it. If yeah, it's one, like lands on Hulu or something, or crackle. <laughs> Yeah, you know, all the kids love their 480p movies with like a thousand commercials in them. Oh, crackle. Uh, I'm I'm feeling peer pressured to say two because I don't want to give it the highest rating, but you do. Uh, if you're thinking about it, you do. Yeah, Harlan's giving it a five. Oh, you're gonna oh, get, I'm, I, I guess I'll say three. It's a very uh, reluctant I, three. I, I have, Justify it. I have one more thing to complain about. What's up? This is a really a like ugly movie. Oh, yeah. Like we are, we talked about how annoying everything is, but like even considering that this is based off emojis, which are the most like net neutral icons ever that have no character or like style to them at all. They're supposed to be kind of these just like this is a picture of a thing. Or this is like a cartoonified picture of a thing with no style. This is so boring. This is so, like, I, I could see the fucking marketing meetings. I could see the spreadsheets that this was written on. Oh, it yeah. Looks bland. And, like, yeah. Well, it, I mean, like, this is such lazy animation. The voice, like, the voice doesn't even match up with the lips a lot of times. I mean, and there's so, so many, um, there's so much product placement. Like, you know, like, they, they like, name drop and, and like, show and, and obviously, like, visit entire apps. Like, fucking, like, we got Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> Spotify, YouTube. Instagram, Candy Crush, Yeah, there's Dropbox. a part where that kid goes into a 7-Eleven and he buys a pack of American Spirits and they, like, show it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, that, was, that was my favorite scene. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> That's what I'm if it was just three. the fucking scene in Clerks where Randall's selling little kids cigarettes, but it's like... <laughs> it's, <laughs> and then the kid's playing on a smartphone. <laughs> uh, um, What's the... Yeah. I guess our good thing... Oh shit! I thought there was there was one decent visual. Uh, it's when they're like in the boat going down like the digital river, and like there's like a colorful whale that like jumps out of the water over them, and like w emojis notwithstanding, the emojis on the boats notwithstanding, I thought it was like a nice visual, I guess. Harlan, 
The whale's over here. Fucking Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to loop it back. Um, I'll it? say T.J. Miller's opening monologue was competently read. <laughs> was competently read. He <laughs> read <laughs> off the page. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> he can read. <laughs> I don't know if I have a legitimate good thing. Remember that one part where they hallucinate him getting inflated during Candy Crush? That was kind of hot. Somebody got turned on by that. Yeah, it was me. (laughs) Another trope of witnessing someone's death in real time, but then going back and that was, oh, it was only their imagination. I guess I did almost think that that was funny for like a second and then I frowned again. Then you're like, wait, this is the emoji movie. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) not a lot of smile. Then you turned your meh mode on. Yeah. Yeah. It dates itself. I mean, aside from the fact that any fucking emoji movie is going to date itself, like when they're talking about, oh, we should get like, what's the kid's birthday? And they said like October of 2002, and I threw up everywhere. Oh yeah, and I want plus there's the kids in college now. Like kids about to graduate college. Wow. I guess it would be the GIF movie now. There's wow, this movie came out five years ago. That's wild. I just thought of that. Um, it just doesn't feel that old. Um. What the fuck was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, and, and then of course also in in dating itself we have a uh, some some meme references where they like they go in a room. I, gu- I guess it's YouTube or something, and like the bots chase them in there, and uh, and they're like, oh I know how we'll distract them, and then they just put on a video of like a kitten being cute, and the bots are just like sitting there That's watching it in a loop. Such a like 2010 like funny junk level. Like Le- Le- Le has <laughs> cheeseburger. Yeah, know? like. Uh, th- Hello, fellow kids. Like, well, and then course, we also have like the pineapple pen thing, which I really felt stupid because I was like Gundam style. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's not that. It took me like it took me a minute to be like, wait, that's you not got that. Your fucking memes wrong. Would you have giggled if it was a lazy town thing? <laughs> yes. Or a yes. Serbian film. <laughs> I'd rather watch that than this. I don't know if I have a legitimate good thing. I can't think of anything. It was ugly. Oh, the songs on. are stupid. They play, they play that stupid Wake Me Up Before You Go Go song. They have that. And I already we, didn't and then like got that like song a, and now I hate it. And then we've got like an EDM remix of fucking Take On Me. Yeah. Yeah, true. Fucking come on. So what's her... What's <laughs> I her was tr- really reaching for mine. I don't blame you if you can't think of anything. Yeah. Oh, are you actually holding me to this? A finding I mean, a legit good thing? Yeah. Good thing. I can't well, say you, you, thing. you said you almost laughed at the inflation thing. So, I mean, that's... Okay, so, inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. And I mean, I, I like belly laughed at the Dropbox thing, but that was at the expense of the movie. Yeah, you were laughing at the movie. Yeah. 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 You were laughing at the blatant, like, advertisement for like, Dropbox. This is like Adam Sandler level. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to go to Pizza Hut? <laughs> <laughs> All right, trivia. Um, Fucking butt light! Butt night! <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, on January thirteenth, twenty eighteen, Saudi Arabia lifted a thirty-five year ban on. <laughs> what? Where is this going? What are you talking about? There was an emoji movie dispute in the Middle listen, East. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, Saudi Arabia lifted a thirty-five year ban on movie theaters. This was the first movie publicly shown. Oh come on! They should have banned him again after that. <laughs> You can't ban it for like one more week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, according to TJ Miller, this was the fastest produced animated movie ever. It shows. Yeah. I mean, it feels like they shot this out in a week. It was made in like Source Movie Maker. <laughs> <laughs> and then, they and made then, in Gary's mind. <laughs> <laughs> lastly, uh, are you guys familiar with uh, Handmaid's Tale at all? No. I know it's a show that exists on. I'm, I'm not super familiar with, my, with it myself, but I, I believe like the I believe. You know, listeners, correct me if I'm wrong. Tweet at me. Uh, but uh, I think the premise is that... Link like, him like, his IP address. <laughs> comment his IP address in the comments. Is that uh, women are, are, you know, basically just, like, forced to... to for They're, like, used for reproduction and, like, nothing else, I think. Uh, something like that. Um, and uh, so a week before the movie was released, Sony tweeted a controversial promotional picture uh, parodying the Hulu series The Handmaid's Tale. It was immediately met with criticism for being tasteless considering the content and themes of the Hulu series, and the tweet was deleted. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys that tweet real quick. Let's see it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> Holy shit. So it's just the cover of The Handmaid's Tale, but with the like super they're, smiley emoji. Yeah, they replaced the, the, the main hood. character's face with, with the smiley emoji. Wow. It, it, it looks Someone like, got fired. You know, for what, that. you know what it looks like? It looks like a B Roll Boy's Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> Can that yeah, we just replaced it. Oh my god. That has to be it. That has to be it. Oh my god. That is so fucking stupid. That's amazing. I love seeing, because it's like, like almost every company does this now, where they have like some kind of, I'm guessing, like the joke is always that it's like a low paid social media intern. Hey, that's me. I do social media for a company. <laughs> and like they'll tweet out some kind of faux pas or like really dumb thing. It's supposed to be like, you know. Like, didn't Burger King make some really stupid thing like a year or two ago? Uh, Wasn't it like a women belong in the kitchen because we employ them? Oh, like, yeah, 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 I forgot yeah. about that. And like, <laughs> oh, I fucking forgot about that. Uh, no one's as good as Wendy's, though. They meme all day, every day, and it's usually pretty good. Yeah. But, well, uh, I think that's it for the Emoji Movie. What are we watching next week, Wes? Well, just off the cuff, uh, we're going to watch Beastmaster. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is Beastmaster? I love that you always have some shit that I've never heard of. It's I swear I've only heard of Beastmaster uh, through you talking about it. It's I can guarantee Wes owns it. this. I do. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's akin to your... It's Say a, no more, it's fam. In the, it's in the same ballpark. All right, let's fucking do it. Yeah. Let's go. After Twilight and the fucking Emoji movie, I gotta pull out a classic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks for joining us, listeners, and... Uh, slide into our dms and we'll you know hack our dropbox accounts <laughs> get all up in our dropbox find my social uh, security number uh, we're join, giving away five hundred dollars if you can find my social security <laughs> Tweet, join our justin social security number uh, join, uh, join our twitch stream we're gonna play just dance uh at, at 9 p.m eastern standard time tonight yeah uh and whoever can type the most emojis in the chat uh gets a shout out Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's definitely going to happen. We'll, All right. We'll jerk you off. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for listening. You're trash, bro. Some kind of B roll boys. And?